Hey guys, Reese here from Outback Equipment and today we're going to be going through Hardcore's Croc Skin Armor Portable Solar Panels. So the two variations that we've got in front of us today is the 200 watt and the 150 watt. Both of them have Hardcore's Croc Skin Armor technology. All that is saying is that they're really durable and designed to handle the elements and you know like uh, debris hitting them, being able to be left out in the sun and whatnot. So we're going to be doing a run through of the 200 watt solar panel today, what it comes with, how it works and uh, what sort of performance we can get, uh, expect to get from it. Straight out of the box, we've obviously got the unit itself packed up in a nice canvas bag, comes with a nice carry handle. The handle for the unit itself also uh, extrudes through the bag itself. In the front pocket, this unit in particular comes with a 30 amp PWM solar regulator. It's also waterproof and uh, ready to charge lithiums. We have our 5 meter Anderson to Anderson adapter. We've got an Anderson to alligator clamps if you don't have uh, an Anderson plug to straight into your battery box or whatnot. You can put this straight onto the battery terminals to charge. Got a nice little carry case with our temp pegs so that we can uh, peg the panel down so it doesn't blow away if it ever gets windy. And then we've also got our warranty card and user manual. As the unit sits folded up, it approximate weights and lengths is 710 by 530 about 40 millimeters thick the unit itself when fully opened opens up to about 2.4 meters and 700 millimeters wide this set as it comes weighs about 12.5 kilos uh, without the included accessories it weighs about 11 and a half kilos first thing we're going to notice when we're uh, unpacking the hardcore panel is the durability of the canvas you can feel it's really high quality material You'll also notice that it has Velcro and adjustable uh, steps. So when you're setting it up, you can angle it back and forth to uh, aim it at the sun better. All right, so to some of the technical specifications of this unit and what sort of performance we can expect to see, uh, the unit itself runs at a 22 volt open circuit uh, with an 18 volt maximum current. Uh, in perfect conditions, perfect sunlight and weather, you could expect to see just over 11 amps per hour. Remembering this unit itself is only IP64 rated. It is weatherproof, but you know, it's not designed to be submerged in water and whatnot. So as you can see, we've got the unit hooked up to just my start battery on the car. We've got a resting voltage of 13 volts. The car has been running recently, so those volts haven't dropped down quite yet. So um, I've just got the alligator clips that were provided in the kit, hooked it up, plugged it into the battery side of the PWM controller, and then I've just got the solar panel set up, ready to go, pointed at the sun. And I'm just gonna show you sort of real life, in time, uh, what sort of uh, changes we can see and uh, how quick they can happen. So plugging the unit in, we can see, it does a little startup, recognizes that we're getting power from the solar panels. And then you can see automatically spiking the voltage all the way up to 14.6 volts so far. This unit is currently set on the wet battery at the moment because I do have a flooded uh, lead acid battery as my start battery. Uh, if you do need to change what type of battery you have in the car or you're trying to charge, press and hold the type setting. It'll start flashing and then down the bottom, you have your calcium, lipo, gel, AGM or wet cell and then to select it, we're just hitting the amps or volts button again. Once that's all set up, if you're just wanting to monitor uh, how much power we're putting into the unit, uh, we can cycle through from the voltage. So we can see we're putting in 14.7 volts from the panel. We can cycle it again. We can see we're putting in just under six amps uh, from the sun. The panels themselves aren't exactly directly in line with the sun at the moment, so we can uh, always adjust using the legs that are provided on the back of the panel to get better performance. And then we can also see how many amp hours we've put into the battery uh, throughout the day so far. So some of the key things that we just wanted to touch base on is Hardcore's Croc Skin Armor. They are a ballistic nylon, so they're really heavy duty materials, scratch resistant and weatherproof, uh, designed to be left out in the elements. Uh, the hardcore panels themselves also have some technology in it. So if we cover up some of the panels, it won't get like lose all the source of power from that one panel. It can bypass that one panel and still produce the maximum amount of power. Panels like this are probably perfect for just adding to your camp kits that you have already at home and just expanding on. Uh, they're really good and useful for even if you have a caravan or a camper trailer 
Because of that Anderson plug extension, uh, if you already have a controller in the car or trailer, you can plug straight into that, stay parked under the trees with the trailer and then run the panel out into the sun to keep the batteries topped up. Now, if you are looking for a kit like this, but you don't need the regulator, Harcourt does also do an option where it just comes with the extension and the alligator clips and then you can plug it straight into the regulator that already exists. You don't need to pay that extra money for that uh, hardcore waterproof one. Now, if the 200 watt panel is just too big for what you're looking for, have no fear, hardcore is here. They also provide 150 watt panels, same croc skin armor, same regulator to come with, slightly lower outputs being it is 150 watts, this unit only spans to 1.83 meters rather than the 2.4 meters that the 200 watt panel spans. All right guys, that wraps it up for today's video using the Harcourt Croc Skin Armor Solar Panels. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. We'll be sure to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see our other videos, make sure you hit subscribe and check out the channel. Make sure you head over to outbackequipment.com.au to get yourself a deal for these panels yourself and we'll catch you in the next one.